Righto guys, so today we're in the middle of the Simpson Desert, South Australian side, and I'm going to run you through the Mitsubishi Delica D5. So we first got this as a fresh import from Melbourne, straight up to uh, Brisbane on a truck, and then we started doing a bit of a build on it here and there for the Simpson Desert. So it's a 2007 Mitsubishi D5 Delica. It's automatic and it's 2.4 litre petrol. They also come in diesel, but this one is a petrol. All right, day four of the Simo. Day six of the trip. Pop the bonnet. All right, let's have a look. You won't believe the size of this thing. There is the 2.4 litre Myvec engine. If you actually jack the car up, you can actually work on the car really easily. Um, the front fenders and everything, and the front guards, they're all plastic. So you can just remove them, and you can get to all the belts, everything, without an issue. It's a great setup. So guys, for our remote touring uh, trip through the Simpson Desert and Uluru, we did a full CVT transmission uh, service at Delica Garage. That took care of the um, gearbox. And we also did a full uh, engine maintenance service with Delica Garage. And we got all spare parts for it, oil filter, air filter, uh, new belt. We also got a spare belt in the back in case anything goes wrong. When we first got the car, it had a three inch lift in it from Japan. And as they're coming in, they're bringing them in three inch lifted, but they're not correcting them up. <laughs> So we actually had to get this one corrected up. So we got camber pins, um, we got a full drive line inspection done on it, and a few things changed to make it uh, drive right. To be quite honest, this is what I thought the Delica was gonna be looking like by now. But look at it, still powering on. We've, uh, we've been calling it the missile. Cause it is dead set. It is a missile. Mount there boys. <laughs> we got through it. the simo. <laughs> this isn't the first time it's been off-road, guys. We've had it at Land Cruiser Mountain Park, and we've had it out at Glasshouse Mountains, and a few of the national parks out the back of Ipswich area, and it's been fine. Um, absolutely enjoying the car. It's going great in the Simpson Desert, and I can't wait to get it up to Uluru. Up top here, just have a long-handled shovel for camp, or if we get stuck on the tracks. Got the roller shovel mounts. Light force uh, camp lights on the side here. They're really bright. They look awesome. They light up really good at uh, night. As you can see there, they light up the whole campsite. So they're really useful lights. And then moving on to the front, I have the light force strikers. I'll turn them on for you. These are really good spotties. They've got a really a nice wide spread. I'm super happy with those strikers. So check them out, Light Force. Around the front, we have a light bar. I don't know whether you can see it in the grill here, but it just lives in here behind the grill. That's uh, connected to my high beams. So turn my lights on. High beam, light bar comes on. Can also switch it off and still have my high beams on. Um, for the wheels, we're running steel wheels. Tires are Toyo Open Country, uh, 23570 R16s. And yeah, they get the job done. We got um, GI gear sliders on the Delica straight from Japan. And under here, we have a custom off-road mild steel bash plate at the moment. It's a full um, underbody plate and that will be stainless steel in the future. 
So for the trip, we did a little bit of a budget build for it. And we actually got these drawers second hand out of a 200 series. And it actually has a um, massive top shelf, which is pretty cool. Got all my gas cooker, first aid kits, uh, sunscreen, all that sort of stuff. And one of the biggest things that I do like about it is it's got this huge drawer at the bottom. So you just pull those two tabs and out comes this massive drawer. So this has all my dry food and everything for the desert trip. All my cooking gear in the back, all my washing up gear, stuff like that. For your mate up there. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Thanks for that. No workers. Uh, as you have one sugar, eh? Fold down basin, pots and pans, that all lives in there. On this side of the um, van, I carry a 20 litre fresh water jerry. This here is an on tap shower. This is actually 20 litres of water and it has a, a little 12 volt pump. So you just plug it in here to the cigarette lighter. You just hit the on switch on your pump. This thing is so cool. And then you've got an instant shower. Straight out the back, you got mist, soaker, you can go through all the features. Look at that. I absolutely love this thing. Portable shower solutions. You can wash all your thongs, all that off, surfboards, whatever you got if you go to the beach. Muddy boots. Absolutely love it. So that lives there. Up here, I just got me little fruit basket where I put me fresh fruit for the day. I've got me a little fan in there if I want to chuck it in my swag or not. Uh, a couple of hats up here that I keep. One of my favourite items, picking up rubbish on the trails. Got a couple of little pickers here. The boys use every now and then. Do a bit of a clean up. Fire extinguisher here. Should always have a fire extinguisher when you're travelling remote. Uh, just in case you get a vehicle fire or something like that. Exit tracks here if we get stuck. Down in this little side nook here, I've got a couple of spare chairs um, and my shoes and a couple of um, spare ratchet straps, stuff like that. I also run a LED light above the top here. So this is just a quick little camp light for when I need it inside the van at night. That comes in handy. Also on the back here, guys, I've got a nice little LED light strip here that has uh, red and white lights. So that comes in handy uh, camp at night with the flies and insects and stuff. And as you can see, it goes white as well. You can also have red with it, red and white. That is a handy bit of kit. And then moving on to the side of the van here, I've got all my petrol jerry cans in a bag here, 120 litres on the roof. Also have our Ranger sample shower ensuite that we're trialling. Bush Ranger flag uh, for the sandy deserts. That's a must, you need them out here. GME uh, whip up there. And then inside I just got my spare tyre. Fridge, another 20 litre uh, fresh water jerry can. And I've got all my recovery gear, small toolkit, and my clothing bag that is in a Ranger dry bag. I will show you the dry bag. Actually, I'll come around the other side and I'll show you the dry bag. This is also a Ranger sample that we are trialling. It is a full dry bag that has all different uh, compartments in it. So if you wish, you can have all your dirty clothes on one side and all your fresh, clean clothes on the other side. Or you can put muddy boots, helmets, gloves, whatever you've got in there, if you ride bikes, whatever. But that all lives in there. Fully waterproof, submersible, and yeah, a great bit of kit. The 
tell you what, it's like sitting on an armchair at home. Super comfortable ride, straight through the desert, no issues at all. In here I've got the GME XRS Connect, and um, it's great for on the tracks. You can talk to all the boys, hear them clearly. So that just lives in there. And just uh, um, GoPros and the uh, phone charger, that's about it in the cab. So in the back here, we've kept everything portable so we can pull this whole system out and we can actually fit a lot of swags and stuff in here uh, when we use the car day-to-day -day uses. But this is just a dual battery system, the Red Arc BCDC 1225. And we've got some uh, just USB points here and there that we've just stuck on for now for the trip. But yeah, this whole uh, box and everything in the back here just pulls out. So it's a great portable system. Well, there it is, guys. The Ranger D5 Delica. If you're thinking about getting a van for your travels or anything like that, I highly recommend looking into them. They're great off-road. You can fit a lot inside and you'll make driving comfort all day long. Cheers, guys. Listen to the thing.